being uh, kidnapped and sold, but then it turns out they're not being sold, they're being captured by a serial killer, and the pimp turns out to be a cop, and then the cops are too busy investigating somebody who threw poo at the mayor of Seoul. And I'm not making this up, this is actually the, the plot. The mayor of where? Seoul. Oh, right, the mayor of Seoul. The mayor right. of Seoul. And threw poo at the mayor of Seoul. Well, apparently not. Apparently throwing poo at the mayor of Seoul is considered to be bad, but that's the least of his problems because there's a serial killer on the guys. And then the police get the serial killer and then the serial killer is released because they're too busy investigating the bloke who threw the poo. And like all those movies, <laughs> there are bits in it that are incredibly nasty. That's there are bits in it that strangely knock day. about fun. What? There's serial killer and someone throwing poo around. I know. And the police all are more interested in, in, in the poo chasing. But it's, you know, it's, it's like all those films. It's a little bit like Memories of Murder. It's not as good as Memories of Murder. Memories of Murder was a really, really intelligent film. But there are, there's 58 different things going on at once. And there's this child in the middle of it. And some bits of it are sort of seen through a child's eyes. And some bits of it are grisly, leery serial killer bits. And some bits are incredibly parodic about how rubbish the police force are. And it goes on for over two hours. And at the end, you come out of it thinking, well, blimey, you know, 